Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the next lesson in our D programming language series. In this lesson, I want to give you an overview of some of the resources that are going to be useful as you follow this series. So beyond these video tutorials, which I know you're subscribed to and are going to follow along, there's often some other resources that you might want to refer to or will have other examples that I don't use. That's important when it comes to learning to be able to see sometimes the same example from multiple viewpoints so you learn. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you a few different resources. So of course, the most important one is the D programming language website here, dlang.org. But what I'm going to draw your attention to is the Learn tab here. And you can find in the D Basics section a lot of the topics that we're going to be looking at here and another version of them here, which I think will be useful. It's quite comprehensive and it's written by reliable sources, the authors and uh, folks heavily involved in the D programming language, so you can trust these resources. Now, if you go back here and take a look at, say, the documentation and the articles, there are also a bunch of interesting articles that might be useful depending on what level of programmer you're at. If you're just starting your journey, I would recommend that learn uh, D from the D language tour. Otherwise, there are some articles over here like C++ to D if you have a lot of C++ experience or say coming from the C programming language, how to migrate over to D. That alone might be enough of a supplement with some of these videos to get you started with the language. Now, another key resource for programming in D is, well, if you search in Google programming D and find the programming in D textbook. Now, what's really cool is the author has made this available free. I'd recommend supporting the author if you get a chance uh, by buying a copy of their book or donating to them. Uh, but all of these examples are here and they're very well uh, crafted and go into a little bit more depth than the D language tour. So for example, if you want to learn about files and find a lot of different examples here, this will give you more examples. It's got the documentation and things are built in here into the website here. As well as there being different exercises that you can challenge yourself with. So this will be another great source for your D programming journey. Now that said, some other things that are going to be useful here in the resources section would be, of course, the different tutorials and the books and stuff that are listed here, which are all uh, very good, but I recommend that programming in dbook, but the community. So getting involved, for example, on the forums is generally uh, it's a very friendly place for learning. Uh, and if we go ahead to the uh, forum here, you're going to see that there is, in fact, at the very top here, a group for just learning the deep programming language, as well as other general forums and areas where you can uh, chat with folks. So those are going to be three of the key resources for learning. Again, the D programming language website, programming in D, and the forums. As well as you're going to see me in these lessons going to the documentation and just actually looking at some of the libraries or the language references here. That'll be also something very useful to know about in one way, just so you know what's available. And you'll get used to reading some of these pages so that you can dig through them and understand how some of these features work yourself. So with that said, I hope that gives you a few different key resources that you can use as you're learning with me on the D programming language. And with that said, make sure you subscribe so you can continue this journey without uh, worrying about missing a video. Give this a like if you found something helpful or comment below if you know of another cool resource that we should shout out in a future video. With that said, we'll see you in the next one.